Tonight, I speak with the men behind a video causing quite a stir in the Hudson Valley. It's called The Jew in Rockland, and it's making very strong allegations of anti-Semitism in the county. And then Obamacare turns five years old, and the president is doing a victory lap. It's been a big success, despite what the critics say. We've got the numbers to prove it. Also, the royal rumble between Timothy Cardinal Dolan and Governor Cuomo over the state budget, and this one is getting really interesting. Good evening and welcome to RFL. I'm Andrew Whitman, in tonight for Richard French, and we begin with a video called The Jew in Rockland that's causing a lot of controversy. Let's start with a clip. A Facebook page was created called Black to Black. This is their mission statement. Black to Black, code word for Black to Jews. And it only grows from there. Colossal PR produced the video on behalf of the Orthodox Jewish Public Affairs Council. That video goes on to compare images on a Facebook page that, as you heard, called Block the Block, comparing those images with Nazi imagery. Rockland County Executive Ed Day spoke with us earlier. He says he's against comparing what happened in his county with what happened to Jews during the Second World War. It is unfortunate that people will take what could be a dialogue of difference of opinion and come out with outrageous statements about a great county that is uh, just beyond belief. But this controversy is playing out in other ways across Rockland. The East Ramapo School Board is dominated by the ultra-Orthodox, and it's been accused of using its power to steer funds to religious schools and doing so at the expense of public schools and public school students. Add to that the very insular Hasidic village of New Square, which is growing fast, and critics say its political influence is growing as well. A short time ago, I spoke with Yossi Gestiner, the co-founder of the Orthodox Jewish Public Affairs Council, and Benny Palatznik, the president of Colossal PR, the company that produced that video. I decided intentionally to produce a video which will stir up conversation and debate to what is going on in Rockland County, specifically this dangerous fringe. And here is where we are today. Okay, and, and I, I want to get into some of the elements that were in that video. Uh, and it, it, the video is primarily focused on a Facebook page that is opposed to block voting of Orthodox community in Rockland County. A lot of the Orthodox community tend to vote as one large group. We've had a number of elected officials who say there have been some elections where I've gotten 99% of the Orthodox vote and other elections where I've gotten 1% of the Orthodox vote. So there is some element of block voting, certainly in Rockland County. That Facebook post that you, or the Facebook page that you cite in the video, there are some blatantly anti-Semitic and hateful comments on that page, including a comment about hair and clothing, uh, calling them filthy and smelly, and there's, I think we can all agree that there's no place for that. That said, you go on Facebook, you go on Twitter, you go on YouTube, there are always going to be people who target any member of any group with hateful things. So is it fair to paint the people in that block the block page with the same brush as the people who are posting those hateful comments? Uh, it's very simple. Um, the name of the page, as you said, is Block the Block Vote, which is a dog whistle language for the Orthodox Jewish community. Voting in blocks happens all the time. There are certain lawmakers who get reelected 90%. The African American community votes Democrat 9, 10 all the time. Mm -hmm. um, environmentalists, gun rights people, everybody votes in their own block. In Rockland County, there's a group called Preserve Rockland or Preserve Ramapo. They vote in a block. They go 9, nine 10 against uh, you know, certain candidates. So voting in a block is not a problem or illegal. But this page, here, here's the four-leveled uh, problem with this page. The name of the page is Block the Block as a dog whistle language against the community. The short bio of the page says that this is focused on the financial trouble that Orthodox community causes for Rockland County. Not, give me a second, not, not just financial problems in Rockland County. It says in the, bio, every, in the bio, every time you visit the page, every time you read, every time you post, it says clearly this is about the financial problems caused by Orthodox Jews. That's number two. Number three, the description says that the financial catastrophe, this is not exactly a quote, but it's, Here's the it's quote. do you have the quote? Yes. Here's, the Here's in the description, which is completely crazy. The county's current financial catastrophe, although blamed on the recent recession, county workers and a small hospital, is in reality entirely caused by the Orthodox and Hasidic community's collective financial reliance on county taxpayers. This, 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 this description says 
that all the problems in a county where Orthodox Jews are only 15 percent is, is at fault because of the Orthodox Jews. But when somebody criticizes the political position of the Orthodox Jewish community in that's, Rockland that's County, but is but a lot of people are going to say that's what we're doing on this Facebook page and we're being called anti-Semites. The, the, the word that this page uses again and again and again to describe the Orthodox community in large is black vote looters. Looters. This is not they are voting in a different way that we would like them to vote. This is looters. They're stealing. But do, do you understand how people in East Ramapo School District might say there is some semblance, looting being a, a more acerbic term, but that the, the budget is being looted to the advantage of the Orthodox Jewish community, or that you know, some members of the community in, in taking public resources, public funding, might be looting some of those resources, essentially assigning it from one place and bringing it to, to the Orthodox Jewish this, community. This question is very, very personal to me, and I'll tell you why. But let me say first that I didn't plan on addressing even this question because I don't think that you can attribute outright hate and anti-Semitism to something like this. Because, you know, I don't think that you can answer. We have a Facebook page because there is a difference in, in East Ramapo. Th that's very different. But let me just address this for a second. I think the main problem from East Ramapo is the failure in PR. The failure from our community to present our side, to present the facts, to present the truth. But I'm not going to talk for the school board. They can talk for themselves. You, you mentioned the dog whistle politics <laughs> that, that are on the side. Um, I've already said that I, I agree that some of the comments that are on there are beyond the pale, absolutely. In the video, you reference a couple of the images, the graphics that are put up. And if we can show, uh, I want to take the Patriot cartoon, uh, which has a, a picture of a, a Patriot with a nail or a screw that's being thrown through, through his chest. That doesn't strike me as being something that dissimilar from something a Tea Party might put out to make a point that, that's going through. Or, or the bomb cartoon that you referenced also, um, the craters are complaining about what they call Medicare fraud. It's aggressive and it's inflammatory depending on your point of view, but how is that anti-Semitic? How is that Nazi-esque? Okay. The answer is that when you specifically write out in your bio, in your about us on the page, in your description, in your mission statement, that when we are talking about the black vote, we are talking about the Orthodox community, not part of the Orthodox community, not 70%, but the Orthodox community. You label everyone, and you put everyone in that black vote uh, name calling. And then you go and you present the bomb, and you write on the bomb, you write the black vote bomb, and on the top, you write suiciders, that we basically are suiciders. Well, the, the bomb says, Medicare fraud. It lists Medicare fraud Black as being vote Medicare fraud. as being a, a, Andrew, okay. Andrew, Andrew, but this but is, the, this bo is, the bomb but, but is the finance. Do, 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 I, do, have you noticed where this conversation has gotten? No, I do. No, 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 I no, no, do. no, no. There is a premise now that there is rampant fraud in the community, and let's debate how we should talk about this. The premise is outrageous. They have never provided any evidence that the shortcomings of this community is worse when looking at the big picture than any other community, specifically a minority community. But the, don't second. they have the right to make that claim the same way that any is, other political no, group has the right to make is. in a political sense? This, the, 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 what I'm trying to get to is how much of this is political and how much of this is religious and where the divide is, especially in Rockland, where that line seems to move both it ways. Would, it, would be fair, it would be fair political conversation if your description and the bio is not what it is. It would be fair political conversation if any time there's a drug bust or any occur, a, a story in the media, you, wouldn't, you, uh, you would be jumping up, yelling that there's crime and corruption. But when your focus on Rockland County is a community which is only 15% of the county, and your description says that all the problems of this county, 100% of the problems is this 15%, do, do you, are you fooling yourself that these people want to have an honest conversation? You know, it's, it, it, it's, it's a joke. One, one of the other aspects that, that you and I have talked about, Yossi, is that the, the sort of separate nature of some of, uh, of the Orthodox community in Rockland County, they seem to be a very exclusive community. I, I walked through New Square, I've told you this story, had the police called on me just for walking through. The police told me this happens a lot for people who walk through New Square, even though it's a public street. I, I'm curious if that helps create the division 
that maybe pops up in some of these political conversations, and if there's some way to bridge that. I think I think this is a, a an interesting conversation, an interesting point. Um, I think 95% of blacks marry blacks, 95% of Hispanics marry Hispanics, 95% of whites marry whites. Uh, people live, whether we like it or not, in segregated communities. That's a fact. People people gravitate to other communities, to communities where where the ethnicity, the religion, or even the racial lines are the same. Again, that was just a portion of our interview. The complete interview ran 22 minutes. We edited it for time, but not for content. You can watch the entire interview on the Richard French Live YouTube channel. And we're going to show the full interview this weekend on Newsbreakers. That's for our viewers on Fios One News, Lower Hudson Valley. Up next here on RFL, we go to Washington, where today the president wished Obamacare a happy fifth birthday. We're going to spell out its successes and tell you why you at home should be celebrating too.